Sound is the essence of music. Is every sound music to the ears? In this video, I'll explain what makes a sound musical. To understand musical sounds, we first need to understand what sound is. What is sound? Sound is a form of energy that is produced by vibrating objects. It travels from the vibrating object to our ears through a medium like air or water and is perceived by our sense of hearing. Some sounds are pleasing to the ears and some are not. Sounds that are pleasing to our ears are called musical sounds and sounds that are not pleasing to the ears are called noise. What is a musical sound? Sound that is pleasing to the ears is called musical sound. It is produced by continuous and regular vibrations and has well-defined frequencies. In musical terms, we say that it has clear pitch. Various musical instruments, human vocal cord, and tuning fork are some sources that can produce musical sounds. What is noise? Noise is basically unwanted sound. It is produced by irregular vibrations. It is abrupt and not pleasing to the ears. It does not have well-defined frequencies or pitch. The sound of a door slamming, the sound of thunder, the sound of motorbike, or the sound of crackers bursting are some examples of noise. Sound is characterized by its properties. There are three distinct properties of sound. The pitch, the intensity, and timbre. Let's look at them one by one. What is pitch? Pitch is the quality of sound that tells us how low or how high the sound is. If the pitch is low, the sound is deep and has more bass. If the pitch is high, it is thin and shrill. Let's take an example on the piano. As I've explained in my previous videos, on the piano, when you go from left to right, the pitch goes from low to high. So let's play a note here. This is deep and has more bass. And something like this. That is thin and shrill and is high-pitched. Also, as I said, that a musical sound has a well-defined pitch. So when I play a note like this, this is a well-defined pitch and is pleasing to the ears. But when I play something like this, here the pitch is not well-defined and it is noise. What is intensity? The intensity of sound determines how soft or loud the sound is. Let's demonstrate that on the piano. Now I'll play one note softly and then the same note loudly. So the intensity of the second one is higher than the intensity of the first one because it's much louder. What is timbre? Timbre is the property that differentiates sounds of different instruments and voices. For example, when you listen to music, you are able to identify the sounds of different instruments, like what the guitar is playing, what the keyboard is playing, what the violin is playing. That is because each instrument has a distinct characteristic sound, which is the timbre. Similarly, when we hear people talking, we can recognize voices. Even on the phone, we can tell who's talking because the individual has a distinct characteristic sound. That property is timbre. Now, let's demonstrate and I'll play a note on the piano. Now, the same note on the guitar sounds like this. And the same note on the harmonium sounds like this. 
Now, even though all three of them have the same pitch and are of the same volume, they sound different because of this property, which is the timbre. So pitch, intensity, and timbre are the three properties of sound. I hope now you understand what sound is, what musical sounds are, what noise is, and the three properties of sound. And if you do have further questions, please write in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.